Let me, let me, let me touch on um, architects, and, and I'll ask um, sort of the more layman, uh, Jim and Rick. What's the difference between an architect and another? I mean, we're just talking about drawing a bunch of 12 by 12 square foot offices and some common rooms. And I mean, do, 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 does it make a difference which architect you hire? And, and tell us about, as your experience going through it, why the right architect or wrong architect is beneficial or not beneficial? Well, I, it, that's a great question, to which I don't have a really coherent answer. Uh, it's uh, the architect selection process was another beauty contest. Uh, every architect in the neighborhood, including some that we knew before, knew we were, we were going to be looking to someone who could design our space. So we got to talk to a lot of architects, and it became a, just a matter of a looking at the resume and seeing who had the most law firm experience. Uh, who would therefore be most likely to understand any special needs you might have, and B, uh, who you felt most comfortable with in terms of the design team. Uh, and then C, you had the cost, uh, because we, we asked them all to bid on the project. So you, you, were, you were combining all of those factors, and we had a committee of six people doing it, and uh, you, know, you just kind of throw it into the mix and, and come out with a decision. Uh, and in, in the long run, it's a big decision because not only do they give you that nice flashy design you're looking for, but you're going to be living with them right up to the moment you finish construction. So I, I wish I had a magic formula on that, but when, all I can say is you've really got to do your due diligence, spend, spend a lot of time finding out what they've done before, who they're going to give you in terms of the principles working on your project, and, and how they're going to uh, continue the project through to the end, which, which is very important. <coughs> It is a very specialized architecture service you're bidding. It's not like somebody who's going to build or design a building or or something like that. It's a, 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 it's a higher end build out. There are a lot of issues involved, and um, the contracts are very different as well. We have a number of lawyers who represent architects and owners in architecture agreements, but there are a lot of issues that Eric really brought to our attention. I thought were quite instructive and helpful to be incorporated in, the, in that architecture contract. Eric, you have some thoughts about that? Well, that's where it was handy being a recovering attorney. The, the, the architects will give you their standard architectural agreement. But keep in mind, architects are like, like law, like tenor rep. It, it's all kind of a game in a sense. And they know how to play the game better than we. We don't play it every day. We play it a lot, but not every day. So they've designed their standard AIA contract, and they tell you about this list of services they're going to give you for a certain price. Sounds great, because look at all these services. And by the way, are there any other services There'll be additional costs, but not to worry. Here's the long laundry list. That means that we need to figure out how comprehensive that list is. And it's their game, not ours. So I suggested to Jim and to Rick that we modify the contract. And I actually did some editing. Uh, and, and we turned it exactly backwards. We told the architects that for the price that you're charging us, you're doing everything under the sun known to mankind, except whatever appears on Exhibit A. And if it's not on Exhibit A, don't send us a bill. And they had never seen this before. Um, that's how I work with all my clients. I insist that way, because I don't want to see the architects get the money. I'd rather the money stay in the law firm's pockets. And Rick will tell you how the people in the architectural firm who didn't realize that this is a special contract dealt with that. Some of those things are like what, telephones and the AV services and there are things that you couldn't con contemplate that they'll charge you extra for. I'm not smart enough to know all those things, so I, it's like a treasure hunt. You got to guess where the treasure is. Instead of guessing where the treasure is, I mean the treasure is everywhere except these places, and if it's there, what we do with it. But Rick, I think, can give you a, a little more flavor on on that administration. Well, I think in that, and as well, we we were fortunate two ways. One was we had Eric suggesting to us what we really needed. And the other was we had an economy that caused the architects to be uh, much more willing to negotiate the terms of their arrangement with us than they might be today. Uh, this was, we were negotiating that deal in 2009, and, and they didn't have a lot, of, a lot of work in the pipeline, so we took kind of you know, leverage is everything in any kind of negotiation with y'all. We, we were able to get things in the contract that we might not have otherwise. Uh, now, through the process, as, as we work with the architects, and we've had a very, very good relationship with them, so I don't want to suggest otherwise, but there have been moments when
when I, I, they would send through what they call a work authorization, which is the equivalent of a change order in construction land. And I'd look at it and I'd say, you know, I think that's in our list of, of all land. And it was just because they were in the habit of being able to charge for this, so they assumed they'd be able to charge for it here. So I'd have to pick up the phone and say, not so much. You know, that's, that, that's in your, your original price. So. Give us a ballpark. And Give us a ballpark of how much money that single provision likely has saved you in architectural fees. It's a, it's a very rough ballpark, but I'd, I'd say $150,000. So it's just that one clause. Is yeah. I think that's fair. 